Hey, what's up? I guess a lot of these stations and shows love love at the lockup formula because I'm getting a lot of these love at the lockup ish storylines in different shows. Or I'm watching Love at the Lockup or I'm watching MTV Catfish. Check this. What's up? My name is Ty Mizzle. You're watching my channel, Mizzle 14, and I'm here doing a review of MTV Catfish, Season 8, Episode 65, Casey and Mike. Yeah! I ain't gonna lie to you. I wasn't really feeling this episode. I was not. I wasn't. It was all. Oh, it is what it is. So I'm, I'm still gonna give you a good one. I'm gonna still give you a review, but it's not gonna be a long one. It's gonna be straightforward and just get to the point. All right, so Casey wrote on the show. She... As a mom of two. I said already right there, I would say, oh, you're a mother of two children. And you want to have time and wasting your time for somebody who give you the money now. We don't got time for that. When you have children, you don't got time to be playing your games and wasted time. That's what your kids must be teenagers or, or self-sufficient because the fact that you have spent all this time and wasting your energy for someone, I understand that. Yes, you have children, you want someone to be there for your children and everything, and you want to love and stuff. I don't really get that. But then that comes to desperation. People who don't even have children are desperate. When you have children, you become more because you want that figure or somebody in that life to keep the balance. So I understand. But at the same time, it's a level of boundaries you need to set forth and a level of respect for yourself to know that your time is valuable. Especially when you have children, you got to take care of. You'll say you're a home health aide, you have two children, everything. So it's like, and you're a single mom. So you'll have no help. So I understand the need of having a male figure. But it's not, desperation gets to that point where you start throwing cautious to the wind and trying to formulate something with someone who's give me a wedding around, who goes to you twice, all that stuff. It's like it's crazy. So I met him online. He is 33, he's 33 years old. Live in Tennessee. He, he's a handyman. And they've been talking on the phone every day. They've been talking on the phone every day, constantly. She enjoyed the conversations. Yada, yada, yada. You know, the whole spill. You know, join the conversation. You know, we had a lot of that common. We had good, so trauma. It's the same kind of formula. If you know, every episode gave me the same thing. We had, we bond over, for, um, we bond over trauma. We bond over some similarities. We talk on the phone all the time. We talk every day or we text every day. We get to know each other. I feel like I know the person. I said, okay, but when it comes to meet up, there's nowhere to be found. They just ghost you. It's like, you get to know the person, you go, all oh, this, but there's nowhere to be found. Like, what are we doing here? And then you keep going and you keep going and you keep going. My, lucky this this kind of relationship was only like a, or this kind of talking back and forth with this person has been like a year. So it hasn't been as long as other cases that we had reviewed on this channel. But at the same time, it's still a lot of time to spend with someone who has been getting run around. Now, they be talking on the phone every day. She said she want to FaceTime him, but he didn't want to FaceTime because he had a flip phone. And I said, oh my gosh, la. Who is using flip phones these days? That's the only people I could ever think of using flip phones to people who was older generation, older people who don't want to get, who don't want to be able to be advanced with the new technology. So they still with the old staff. But to quiet is kept. A lot of old people generations is getting these new technology phones anyway because they're getting used to it. I mean, yes, it gonna take some while, but once they get in there grooving that thing, you can't stop them. You can't stop them. They will give you long text paragraphs. They will give you all these <laughs> everything. They still will ask you about their phone and everything. You can't, but they will be on it. So I miss with that flip phone because even the older people are getting these new technologies. They might get some help and advice, but once they get in their group, then they're gonna be getting the group of things. And so it was like, unless they really don't out of touch with technology. They didn't keep the flip phone, but a lot of people don't have it. So I was like, okay, now that's one thing he's doing. So then she was saying that he played games with her boys. And I said, how you play games with your boys and he's not around and you never met him? She said, oh, play video games. So you had so two boys, virtual video game with someone who they never met, who you never met. 
and be in the game and playing games with them. What kind of games? Fighting games or something like that? PS5, Xbox, Switch, like PC? What games they playing? Okay, so that's that. She said it was twice that he disappeared for a month. He disappeared for a month, and all he said, he'd be off the grid. I'm just off the grid. No explanation. I'm just off the grid. And that's it. Nothing else. I say, I'm like, what? Off the grid? Okay, let me see where this going. I say, you off the grid means you is out of touch, no communication. You must have been in jail or something. I don't know what off the grid means. Off the grid means that something that you was in trouble for. Are you trouble with the law or something? Let me know because I need to know. Because I got kids, I can't be having your mind if you trouble with the law. That's why I mean off the grid means you escaped, you ran away, and you running for someone. <laughs> so you running for the popos. What are we doing? So they was like, okay, she said, he is so fine. He's so cute. He's so cute. And everything. So let's see this picture. And they saw the picture. He's a new decent guy. And so they showed the text messages and they had a voice recording. So a voice message. So he wrote his voice. And we listened to it. I said, oh, this sounds this person sounds really already slangish. It's like that. The word, you know, you feel me, you heard all that stuff like that. I said, All right. So, Cammy said, Casey, sorry to bother your bus, the verbal girl, but that's an African American man. And I said, Oh, snap, we're gonna start dying, crack. Uh, they were started cracking up and laughing. And I was looking at it, I said, Yeah, it did sound like he's from the hood because you know, there's no, I can't be saying that like, everybody was talk like that, it's not talking black or whatever, but he did give that little slang talk. Like, and yeah, that's what it was. So I was like, it could have it let someone thinking that, oh, that mama person might be black or something like that, or kind of hurt this person. So they did all that, and they saw the investigation. They basically had no hits. No, they checked the Facebook group, um page, and they realized they checked the friends list, and it had a bunch of females. Now they would say, oh, he had like a lot of female friends, but I'll say, um, the I just saw add friend on next to the name. So that that really means he had the friends with him. He's gotta add the people. And I just, these people suggested these people for him to add them, or it's on his list and he didn't never add it back. So they probably add him and he didn't never add them back. So yeah, but it was a lot of females things. So I said, oh, he might be talking to the people then. I'm sure it is what it is. Right, so um, then there was no luck in the phone, photos. There was no luck in the uh, phone numbers. I said, man, how you going to get this person? So they said, let's search the cash app because she mentioned that how he sent her money. I said, oh, because you she's the other way around. You send the catfish money. How the catfish is sending you money? She said one time he sent, she said a total of two different things. The first time was from Walmart. I said, Walmart, that's kind of clean or something. And then the second one was a $25, I think, for Cash App. Because she said $100 in one transaction and $25 in another transaction. So that was $125. And then the first transaction was through Walmart. And the second transaction was through Cash App. Gave the name to Cash App, said like the Billy, something like that. So they searched the Cash App. They said, look at that. And they saw a picture of a black Mustang. And it's on the number. Listen, let's search that number. That number came up to someone named Robert Champion. Right? So they check. Okay, let's look at this name on the Facebook center. They got a social media page. And it came up on the page, and the picture, the banner picture was Black Mustang. So Robert Champion, and the guy looked really young. Looked really young. It played to the to the theory that Cammy had that he might be an African-American man. Oh, because this guy looked by me. She looked like he is half black. So that's that. And it's all his friend list, and his friend list was a mic. So I said, oh, okay. Mike. Mike Brown. Well, I would tell you Mike Brown. So they look at that. They said, let's look at the summer Todd and Brown. Because his name is really Todd, because she said they call him by Mike, but his name is Todd Brown, because that's the name that he used to send the transaction. And T- Todd and Brown in Tennessee, and it came on the match. When they look at the match, they said, oh, he got some little criminal backgrounds and stuff going on here. Burglary was one of the things. It was something else, something else. I said, oh, burglary, girl. You better be careful. 
Be careful. So it had all that. And they said, let's check out early aliases. Aliases. And it had Robert Champion Brown. So I said, oh, what's going on here? So now they're thinking that Robert could be connected to these people. So, so maybe she probably talked to Robert, thinking he is Mike or what? He's a connection between Mike and Casey. Or Robert could be Mike. That's what it is. So they called Todd because they went to talk to Casey. They told Todd, they called so Todd. <laughs> but I'm saying, they told Casey they bought up with the speed. They said, so she listened to all this stuff. She said, oh, that's crazy. Oh, all right then. And she wasn't even that hurt. And I said, girl, they don't have to be her girl. She was there. This was this. He never met you here. So what's all the emotion coming from? So she was sitting there. Oh, it's messed up. Why are you doing this? Is really right? So they said, Let's call Todd. No answer. So they called, Let's call Robert. Robert answered. And Robert said, Oh, yeah, Tom was my half brother. And he's cool with everything and all that stuff. Like that. No, he got no relationship. She in the profile and say he's in a relationship. But she said she asked him, He said he's not in a relationship. So he must probably just put that just to put that. So they stopped all that girls to be on his freaking friend list either. Sure. <laughs> So, talk to him, and he said, oh, you know, that's his brother. And he said, yeah, I don't know what's going on. But basically, he does say that, yes, he sent the cash app to her because he said he don't really know who be sending the cash app. But he did mention that his brother used his cash app and something like that to send over there because Robert Champion worked in Walmart. So, that's another connection. He said, it's too many coincidences why this person could be it. So... Um, yeah, he said, Oh, yes, yeah, random people be sending me messages and saying, Oh, send this person th this money, and he would do it. And he probably didn't even know the people. I said, You so you have random people who send you money and just send it to someone else, like that don't quite make sense. Well, you wanted a business something going on here with Cash App, you send the money to Cash App in your own business. I don't know what's going on, but that's what he said. But he said, It's not. He could get a hold of Mike, but it's not probably going to be a good time right now to get a hold of him. It's so, all right. Just let him know that everything should try. So I guess they said, let's table it. The next day, me get a message and saying that, oh, I can meet y'all and everything. I'll be outside Nashville, Tennessee, and come over and meet me. So they all excited. Casey excited because she said, this is a, is she nervous because she said it's the first time I flew on a plane. That's like, to be honest, I never flew on a plane myself either. So I don't know when... I'm ever gonna do it or not, but I know I'm gonna be nervous. And I'm not scared of heights. It's just that fluent plane. I just never did it. So it's like, I don't know. I had to have to go so well. I had to go someone in the plane. I had to go with someone in the plane for me to even get over that hurdle of flying. All right. So they live there, hit them up. Yo, bro, what's up? I hung over here. I'm gonna be at this place. Just your address, maybe at this barn. Long story short, let me at the bar and there is this guy. It's actually him. And I think I'm going to have my thumbnail of the cafe so you can know who they look like. And it's actually him. I said, you know what? I hate this. If y'all going to be who you are at the end of the day, why all this catfishing? Like, really, are we doing all this? I understand some people got some things. They got in secret relationships and stuff like that. Yada, yada, yada. But if you're going to do all that, if that's actually you, you said this is me, but I'm not getting you. So at least something, like, come on. We're going through all this. So long story short, he was basically saying that, oh, yes, he'd been in jail since he was 13 years old. So it's like a long chunk of change of him being away in jail. So at least that's why he got a flip phone because he don't really understand a lot of this technology and a lot of stuff advanced. So I understand why he probably flip phone. She said, that could be easy explanation. You could have gave her the explanation. She probably wouldn't understand why you got a flip phone. Now, now I knew who I understand because yes, when you get out, you can't really, you only had the technology on them funds that even buy you that phone. So you might have to get a flip phone to start off and then he worked his way up. So, but he said another reason why he go off the grid because he had, he was messing with another girl and got the girl pregnant and the baby's on the way. I said, oh, damn, you could have told her that. <laughs> could have told her that. That's why you off the grid. You could have said, listen, I'm off the grid because I'm going to some personal things. I might have a baby on the way and I don't put you, put you through this. And she might want to stand and just let it go and move on with her life. But no, just drink it along, drink it along. So long story short, he was just saying that, listen, 
it's no romantic feelings for us. I think we could just be friends or we could just talk as friends, but it's not really more than I want to go. Because say if it was, I probably wouldn't be entertaining any females. I probably wouldn't have a baby on the way. And it is what it is. So I don't see any romantic feelings towards you to even go there for it. Or if I see myself with you, because he said he don't know what the future holds. He don't know how he will feel in three months later. All that yada yada bull crap. So it was like, come on, we need some straight answer from you. So basically he said, no, it's no romantic feelings. And that's it. He said, I'm sorry. I know I'm not saying sorry, but I love you together because you make me feel good and then all these conversations. And that's what I like. And I, 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 I hate this going on. And he said, I'm sorry. I said, I said what I said. I'm sorry. And that's what it is. There's not enough more to it. You pursued me. I didn't pursue you. The whole thing. I said, I like boy. We got it. Whatever. So I said, Casey, don't even waste your tears, this guy. Compared to he was probably wasting your time. But at the same time, they only could waste your time with what you allow. So you didn't allow that, he wouldn't waste your time. So after a while, she just broke down crying. She went to the bathroom floor, crying on the floor. I said, oh, no, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, my gosh. You really bring it down crying. I wouldn't, but I understand. I understand. She put her heart into uh, her heart out with this guy. She really loved him. All that stuff for him to even trash on the side like that. To scar her like it was no tomorrow. I was like, whatever. And he wasn't even all that either to be going on that. And he actually sounded the way he sound. So like that. So I was like, mm. So she said she's good. Two months later, she said, listen, I'm doing me. I focus on myself. I ain't focused on myself. I said, that's it. That's how you do it. Because the right guy will come around and be there for you and your children. And you just need to focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Worry about yourself. So you won't have no douchebag who will waste your time in the future. But it only starts with you. Because if you allow this to happen, they're going to continue in wasting your time and you don't have the time when you have two boys to raise all right that was mtv catfish y'all please like comment so subscribe to my channel talk about how you feel about this episode like i said it wasn't even all that but it is what it is um tell me how you feel peace